Alright, are you ready? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're not helping! <laughs> Directly. That would actually be really funny. I completely forgot what the questions were, by the way. So. That's okay. Alright, are you ready? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Um, pretty much all of it. I get to do schoolwork and hang out with people and work in a library. So, I don't think there's anything to not be excited about. <laughs> wow, I like to read. Do you? See you soon. Woohoo! Yeah. Um, I think it would have to be, you know, going to my dream college and just achieving the goals that I set for myself. Uh, I guess the change of it, just because I've lived in Greenville for a while and I've gone to the same school since seventh grade. So I think it'll be kind of cool to go to Clemson and just change where I'm at and try and you know, meet new people and make new friends and stuff like that. Making decisions. Decisions are scary. <laughs> Failing. <laughs> I'm, I'm a perfectionist. I have to get like straight A's and B's and just be good at what I want to do. Um, my biggest fear would probably be, I guess, not succeeding while I'm at college like I want to. Bringing my VR headset to CIY, yeah, just having like the host of CIY just put it on and look at all the galaxies and be like, whoa, that's so cool. I forgot about that. <laughs> the skit the guys did this year at CIY, that, that's ingrained in my memory and it's never going away. Hello darkness, my old friend, <laughs> I've come to talk. Um, I feel like I've been, I guess, a lot not like different, but a lot better person since the first CIY. Like uh, all the CIYs have been really good, but I feel like the first one really changed me a lot. And I like, um, um, I think that uh, I'm a lot better uh, like person and uh, my faith is a lot stronger since then. All of it. <laughs> Like, legitimately, I'm gonna miss all of it. Uh -oh. <laughs> um, definitely all the fun and games and, like, the laughs that we've had. Uh, definitely the people, like, um, you and uh, Brendan and just all the friends I've made, I'm gonna miss a lot. <laughs> Um, just feeling accepted and, you know, having friends that cheer me up and make me laugh. Having a group of friends that I could trust and talk to because I never really had that before. Uh, my favorite part is just that it's not like you guys are just basically throwing stuff at us. It's like back and forth and we're all learning together and I don't really feel like you guys are more just like pushing stuff on us that we're all like learning together and I like that a lot. Um, to focus on God instead of popularity because popularity isn't gonna last. It just, it's work. <laughs> it really helps keep you grounded in your faith and it gives you somewhere where you can talk to people without having to worry about them judging you or spreading it to someone else anywhere you go there it's gonna be people who want to help you because not only does it grow your faith and build a foundation uh, there's many things you'll encounter in high school and it's good to know why uh, if they're simple it's good to know why you should step away from those and having like a good Christian foundation uh, is a good way to avoid those things. Times are going to get tough, definitely, but just having that little piece of paper in your hand means a lot. 
My biggest piece of advice would be uh, not to be scared of going into the youth group and feel nervous around some of the older kids because none of them really look down on you. You can be just as big of a part of the youth, the youth group as anyone can. Starting in middle school, school gets a lot more stressful, a lot more intense, and frankly a lot more frustrating. So don't let that make you forget about the joy that learning can bring. Try to find something fun in everything you do in school and use that to find what you love and what you want to do. I think we did pretty good. I mean, being the oldest, I know I'm the experimental child. Thank you for uh, helping me get through being a teenager. I, I think we got through it okay. <laughs> we survived. <laughs> I would like to uh, let my parents know that I know uh, I wasn't very like keen on the idea of going to the school I attended um, and they really wanted me to go and I think it was a really good decision and uh, I really thank them for that and also for uh, them choosing to attend this church. It's really like helped me grow my faith. I just want to thank them for being there for me and pushing me to my limit. Um, they were kind of my study buddies, <laughs> they would help me um, so I could be prepared for the next quiz or test that I needed to nail. If I had to choose one person to thank, it would best definitely be uh, Mr. Sam Farley uh, because he, he's he been like a good mentor to me the whole time I've been at Woodford Christian Church, but especially this last year. Uh, when I started meeting with him last summer and just he's always uh, checked up on me and it's always meant a lot and uh, I really thank him for that. Can it be two people? Sure. Now there are two of them. Mr. Jonathan and Ms. B. They have been great mentors and friends. They are always willing to talk and to just hang out and to uh, help me with whatever I'm struggling with and I want to be just like them. <laughs> Um, I kind of have three. <laughs> this is getting out of hand. I want to thank Miss Charlene. She's helped me a lot. She raised me through Christianity and kind of brought me up into it um, ever since I was little. I also want to thank you guys, Brendan and Beatty, because, I mean, you make me feel so welcome and happy. It just... Probably photography. Um, I took my first photography class my senior year and I just fell in love with it. And I love nature photography, just taking pictures of everything that God's created. Like um, I had to do one art assignment and I found this huge tree that just had like hundreds of branches. And I just love that picture. <laughs> one gift I feel like God's given me is uh, just being able to sit down and talk to people and uh, I feel like people feel like they can talk to me pretty well and uh, I feel like I could grow some strong relationships and uh, try and lead people towards Christ with those relationships. I think he's given me in combination a lot of empathy and a love for having fun which going into youth ministry I think that's something that will really help me to teach teenagers. Watching myself on video. This is gonna be horrible. <laughs>